My dear friends, be a part of your redemption. In this week's portion of Bo, we talk about the Jewish people and their exodus from Egypt. <clears throat> and we hear about the plagues that God had brought upon the Egyptians as the Jews stood on the sidelines, one by one, decimating their resolve and punishing them for their enslaving the Jews. And finally, the tenth plague is coming, <clears throat> and the Jews have to leave Egypt, but God calls out to the Jewish people through Moses, and he says, I need you to do two things. I need you to take a lamb, tie it outside your home, check it out to make sure it has no blemishes as you're going to sacrifice it for me right before you leave Egypt. <clears throat> and secondly, you'll have to circumcise yourselves before you do that. And the Torah tells us how the Jews, with great self-sacrifice, not sure how the Egyptians will react seeing their God being tied up to the home of their slaves, the Jewish people, circumcision and its difficult uh, pain. But God asked the Jewish people to do that and then he would take them out of Egypt. Why? Why didn't God just let the Jews continue? It was a pity they were slaves. But God said, if you want to be redeemed from Egypt and really become free people, you have to have a part in the redemption. You cannot just be on the taking side and expect everything to happen for you. You have to put out your hand. You have to put out some sacrifice and be a part of making your redemption happen. Only then will it be real. And it's interesting, this Monday <clears throat> marks the anniversary of the leadership of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, who in 1951, exactly one year after his saintly father-in-law, the previous Rebbe, passed away, he took over the leadership of Chabad and took it from a small community of a hundred families to a worldwide movement affecting Jews everywhere around the world. And in his first talk on the 10th day of Shvat, 1951, he was very clear to his followers and he said, do not think that I will become your leader so you can sit back and just ride on my coattails. But this is a project we're going in together. I will lead, I will inspire, I will guide, but ultimately you have to put your hand out, you have to put the first foot out, and to go there and together we will realize the vision and the purpose of what we are here for to make the world a better place, to rebuild the Jewish people, to rebuild Jewish pride, and ultimately to bring the final redemption, the perfect world we're all waiting for. And this is the message to every one of us. It's not upon us to finish the job, but we all have to take a part in making it happen. And every part, no matter how small, and definitely the larger parts, are all equally important. Get involved. Become part of your community. Become part of what's happening in the world to make the world go in a good direction. And at this time, I also want to tell the people of Quebec and Canada, after seeing the terrible tragedy that happened in Quebec City, in the mosque, that we all pray for the peace and the life and the health of all people, that we should live in a world where there's no murderers, there's no jealousy, there's no greed, there's no wars, a world of Mashiach may happen quickly in our days. I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.